Nothing but the power of the Spirit of God can overcome it. It is the term which Moses often employs to express the obstinacy of Pharaoh. He also employs it to mark the corruption of the Israelites, and in general, the prophets use it to signify the inflexible perversity of sinners. It is in this sense that Ezekiel attributes to man a heart of stone, a heart which does not feel, and which nothing in man himself can soften. These passages, and many similar ones, denote an inclination to wickedness so strong and so rooted that it has entire possession of the man and of all the powers of the soul, without his being able to undeceive himself and to turn to God. It is this also which is marked by the expression, impenitent heart, for it does not refer merely to the act of impenitence and to the heart being in that state at present, but to the fact of its being so enslaved to sin that it never would or could repent. Dr. McKnight, while he admits that the word literally signifies cannot repent, most erroneously adds, here it signifies which does not repent, unquote. The greatness of this obduracy was made manifest by the number and force of the external invitations which God had employed to lead the Jews to repentance, and which the apostle calls his goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering. For these invitations refer to the frequent and earnest exhortations of his word, his temporal favors, the afflictions and the chastisements he had sent, and all his other dispensations toward the Jewish people, respecting which it is said, What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Isaiah 5, 4. And again, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Isaiah 65, 2. When men remain inflexible under such calls, it is the indication of an awful obduracy, of a heart steeled and shut up in impenitence. Such was the state of the Jews. This passage is explicit in opposition to all who suppose that God employs nothing for men's conversion but the efficacy of his word, accompanied with other circumstances calculated to make an impression on their minds. Without the immediate operation of the Holy Spirit— these will always prove ineffectual. Thou treasurest up unto thyself wrath. This is a strong expression and a beautiful figure. It proves that sins will be punished according to their accumulation. A man is rich according to his treasures. The wicked will be punished according to the number and aggravation of their sins. Dr. McKnight makes the whole beauty and energy of the expression to evaporate when he explains it as comprehending the thing referred to by an Hebraistic extension of meaning. There are two treasures which Paul opposes to each other, that of goodness, of forbearance and long-suffering, and that of wrath, and the one may be compared to the other. The one provides and amasses blessings for the creature, the other punishments. The one invites to heaven, the other precipitates to hell. The one looks on sin to pardon it on repentance, the other regards obstinate continuance to punish it and avenge favors that are despised. God alone prepares the first, but man himself the second. And on this account the apostle says, Thou treasurest up unto thyself wrath. He had just before ascribed to the Jew a hard and impenitent heart, expressions which, as we have seen, signify an entire and settled inclination to evil, a corruption which nothing in man can overcome. He adds that by this means he treasures up wrath. This is very far then from countenancing the opinion of those who say that if men were absolutely and entirely unable to convert themselves, they would be excusable, and that God could not justly require of them repentance. Such is not the doctrine of the Apostle Paul, which, on the contrary, teaches that the more a man is hardened in crime, the more he becomes an object of divine justice and wrath." The reason is that this want of power has its seat in the will itself and in the heart, and that it consists in an extreme degree of wickedness and perversity for which there can be no excuse.